Okay, so with a kite, the area of a kite is x times y divided by 2. You might have seen that written differently. You might see it like this, x, y over 2. But essentially, this is the one that I'm going to be using uh, for this formula. Now, x and y are also interchangeable, but generally x relates to um, one cross section and y relates to the other. Okay, now it's the whole length from this point to this point and from this point to this point. Now, it, the reason it's divided by two, because if you look at our other video on finding the area of a triangle, this essentially is a combination of triangles, whether it's two large triangles, this one and this one, or this one and this one, or four small triangles. So with a triangle, we always remember that we have to halve that. So that's a little tip in a way to remember that with a kite, you need to halve it. So for this shape, if the X value is 10 and the Y value was 25, we would go 10 times 25 divided by two. I know 10 times 25 is 250. And if I'm gonna halve that, I would get 125, okay? If we said this was centimeters, then we would say that this is then centimeters squared. So for this kite, we're still gonna use the same formula. However, this one's a little bit different to the last one because what it's done is it's given us this measurement and this measurement as well as this one and this one. So we actually have to do a little bit of addition before we get to it. So if we're calling this Y, I would say that Y is six plus 10 because it's 16 centimeters the whole way. And then for X, it's gonna be the seven and the seven. So it's gonna be 14 centimeters. So for this formula, I'm gonna go 14 times 16 divided by two. And if I type that into my calculator, I'm gonna get 112 centimeters squared. So when you're trying to find the area of a kite, you just need to make sure um, what the measurements are actually labeling. Um, so if they're measuring the whole dimension, then you can put them straight into the formula. Whereas if they're splitting the shape up into smaller parts, you'll have to do a little bit of an addition first, then put those values into your formula.